everybody and welcome to a new video. Um, this one should have been a kilt kit build, but it's not going to be. Um, it's going to be a bit of a rant. Uh, so here we have a metal detector kit and this was ordered for me from a company here in Canada called Princess Auto. Now this was ordered uh, with the assumption that it would be a new product. Um, and this is the condition that it arrived in. As you can see, the case is seriously beaten up. Uh, these cases are held together by stickers. One of the stickers is here. That's where it was when it arrived. There's another sticker here that's so dirty that they had to use sellotape to stick it back together. And here's one of the other stickers here that was actually being used to hold the invoice on. I've got my thumb positioned there to cover up my address because I don't want to be displaying that to the entire world just yet. Um, but anyway, as you can see, uh, metal detector electronics kit from, uh, sorry, headphone users, uh, from Princess Auto here. Um, anyway, so I was a little dismayed when I saw the condition of the case, but I figured as long as the components are there, uh, I'll just go ahead and build it. Well, isn't that going to be interesting? So here's our box of components that were included in this box. We have a handful of resistors, a couple of diodes, some enameled wire. This is used to uh, hand wind the, uh, uh, the inductor coil that uh, you use for the metal detector. We have a battery harness, a very, very, very damaged potential, well, maybe not dam very damaged, I mean, I guess I could bend these leads back into place, but it looks like somebody stepped on this poor potentiometer, and a button. Actually, I really like that button, that's got a very nice tactile response to it. Um, and then we have a little thing for velamen. Now, I just want to get this out of the way early in the video. I'm not complaining about Velman. In fact, I've got more things to say about Velman a little later in the video. Uh, but here we've got a, a little brochure for some of Velman's things, a neat little uh, resistor color code sheet sheet. Uh, ooh, handheld pocket scope. That sounds like that would be fun. Um, but anyway, this just showcases some of their products. Um, and then we've got this... Uh, limited warranty and general information thing. These are pretty standard. And then we've got some instructions here. Yay, finally some instructions. Wait a second. Does anybody else see the issue here? Uh, pick programmer and experiment board. Hmm. Huh. That doesn't belong in this box. But that's cool. I didn't know that uh, Villeman had a uh, pick programmer kit, so uh, I might have to add this to my list of things to build. Um, and then we've got a PCB. Uh, this is very clearly the PCB for the metal detector kit, so that's interesting. Uh, and then we've got this, which is the PCB for the PIC programmer. So that's fascinating. But where's the rest of the stuff? Uh, I literally can't do anything with this kit. Um, the box looks like uh, Princess Auto's warehouse workers were uh, using it for football, and it doesn't matter which country you're from, it still involves kicking a ball around, and I think they were using this box as the ball. And I just now realized that the, uh, the lid was put on upside down, because there's the hole here for, you know, putting it on a, on a hanger, and there's the hole there, so they didn't even when it got opened up and all these random bits and bobs got thrown into the box, uh, they didn't even try to make it look like it belonged that way. But anyway, so we will not be doing a kit build today, unfortunately. Now here's where things get a little interesting. Um, I reached out to, uh, to Princess Auto about this situation. Um, and some time passed, and then they came back to me and they said, well, uh, if you can send us a copy of the invoice, um, we'll send you a shipping label so you can send the bad one back and then we'll ship you a new one. I said, I'm not going through all that folder, I'll just send me a new one. I mean, I sent them pictures, 
uh, of the the disaster that they sent me. Um, and then they came back with, oh, and, and I sent them an image of, of this uh, uh, packing slip, which should have been more than enough proof to Princess Auto that I had been shipped this item and this item was wrong. And it's got an order number here. Apparently that order number doesn't exist in their system conveniently. Um, and I did some rummaging around and I found the original order number because there were some additional items that were sent uh, before this. Uh, I had actually been hoping to tie in uh, the other items. Uh, there are these near field audio speakers, which are these uh, weird, uh, but very cool uh, speakers. You take your phone and you set it down on top of it and it's able to amplify um, the music using a very interesting trick. Uh, that is also used by the metal detector. So I wanted to tie those two series together, and now I can't because this metal detector is not a metal detector. It's about a third of a metal detector and about a tenth of a pick programmer. I'm just absolutely... Oop, as I bash the camera. I'm just... Ab My ghast is very thoroughly flabbered by how Princess Auto would consider this an acceptable thing to ship to somebody. If I was working in a warehouse, I don't care how crappy my working conditions are, I would not consider this okay to ship. I would not sell this to anybody. I would not send this anywhere. I would throw it in the trash, write it off, and send a new one. But Princess Auto didn't seem to think that that was a good idea. And as of now, I am still waiting for some sort of salient response from Princess Auto. But, just on a whim, I also emailed Velleman. And I said to them, you know, I don't know what Princess Auto was thinking, but I just wanted to share with you guys how they are representing your brand. And I sent them the exact same series of pictures that I sent uh, to Princess Auto of, of the mangled box and, and the condition in which everything was sent. Um, and uh, they were absolutely appalled. Um, let me see here. Uh, here we go. So Anthony from Velleman said, These pictures are extremely disappointing. This does not define Velleman as well below our standard of pa packaging and production quality. They also have no idea how Princess, why Princess Auto is selling uh, their items because Princess Auto is not actually a Velleman retailer. Uh, so we found out something interesting there. Uh, in the same breath, he said, just uh, show me your receipt from Princess Auto and we're going to send you a new one. Just like that. I didn't even, a I didn't even ask them to do that. I'd, it had not been my intention to ask Velleman uh, to send me a replacement. I just wanted them to know about what Princess Auto was doing here. But basically, the first thing out of out of Velleman was, hey, we're gonna send you a new one. Just pay the taxes and duties, and you're all good. Sweet. I love Velleman. They produce some really really good kits. Uh, as demonstrated here, probably they're already getting ready to put the the new kit in the mail. Um, you know, they they jumped right in, and you know, without any complaint whatsoever they're going to ship me a replacement for this kit that Princess Auto messed up, and I'm still waiting to hear back from Princess Auto on the status of getting a replacement through them. So, really disappointing outcome uh, there on Princess Auto's part, but way to go, Velleman. Uh, I've always been impressed with the quality of their kits. Um, side note, I wish they would tin the, the, the solder pads on, on their PCBs. That's my only complaint, but uh, really it's it's not that big a deal. Um, and I've had past experiences with Velman customer service when I was I was working at RP Electronics, and they're just, they're, they're really good people. They've got good products. Um, this is by no means a sponsored shout out. I just wanted to let you know how Velleman handled the situation as opposed to how Princess Auto handled the situation. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll uh, cobble together some, some other con content because this is supposed to be this week's content. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching and listening to my, my rant here. And uh, we'll put a link for you to subscribe here, a video that YouTube thinks you'll find interesting here. And I'll pick some random playlist here, because it would have been the playlist for the metal detector, but we're not building the metal detector. 
And also, uh, because of the way YouTube's monetization changes and everything, in order for me to keep this channel going, I'm going to need your help to do it. Uh, so check out my Patreon here. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next series. Bye-bye.